I sure am. Just hang on there. Okay, thank you. All right. Welcome, everybody, Aceware customers and guests alike. And thank you for sharing your valuable time with us today. I'm Sharon Brookshire from Aceware Systems, and we provide a registration management software for continuing education programs. It's unique for continuing education to support you as you develop and market, register, and then the all-important reporting on your programs. Give us, give the data. We're so proud to partner with ProTrain, who offers educational services to institutions around the world. And their mission to assist students on their journey to upskill, reskill, gain employment, or advance their career is what everyone in the room is passionate about. And both of us serve as an extension to your continuing education team. We partner with you to help your program and your students. And today you're going to hear from ProTrain who will share how they can grow your program offerings. You'll also hear from a representative from the University of Texas at El Paso who is an Aceware and a ProTrain customer. And UTEP uses an import and export routine that were developed by Aceware with ProTrain to store all the data into that single database, giving you that statistical reporting you need. And along the way, just drop your questions or comments in chat for Betty or me, and we'll get those questions answered. Betty, we are all yours. You have no idea how proud I am to be on this session today. I really am for many reasons, and I'm going to say it up front. Um, Chuck, who just recently um, left left us on this earth, but never from our minds, he was one of the first people when I decided to start ProTrain, was one of my main supporters. So I'm extremely proud to be associated with Aceware. And I just had to say that because it's the truth. Um, what we're going to talk about today, and I want to encourage anybody to put in a QA and a in chat any questions that you have. We're just like you all. We're just real people trying to get it done every day and trying to serve people through education. And what ProTrain is about is education to employment. Um, you, could, you can't get more real than that. And I believe that with Sharon and with Chuck's previous leadership, that we all have the same mission and vision. Uh, so we're going to talk about what a value-added partnership is, what about ProTrain, and who are these ProTrain people, and do you want to work with them? Next slide. Uh, I'm not going to read every slide, every single word to you, because we're all adults, but I'll give you the, the overview. Uh, I encourage Q&A, like I said. Who are we? What do we do? Where do we come from? We're just like you. Because many, well, everybody at ProTrain has come from either um, education in some form or fashion, whether it be at a university, a community college, uh, for-profit, non-profit, um, military, education. And that's why we're all bonded together for the same cause to help you all be able to accomplish your mission, visions, and goals. And if you can't tell already in the tone of my voice, I really am passionate about what we do as an organization. And we want to help you with your challenges in different learning formats, because not everybody learns the same way. And we're going to talk about, you know, some different industry sector demands. And 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 I can't wait for us to hear from our partner, Sam at UTEP, because he has been a very gracious, gracious partner. And we've worked very well together. And what our turnkey solution is, we're going to talk about some marketing, what we do, different potential revenue streams, processes that we like to do, you all on this call will tell us what you feel the next steps are and i'm not going to click on the links on the lower right hand side but when you get a copy of this presentation you can see more about learning modalities our capability statements our corporate brochure and just a sample of a weoa for unemployed and underemployed people we just try to give you all a flavor of what it's like 
to work with us because we're very sincere and passionate about what we do. Next slide, please. Uh, just a little bit about me. Prior to starting ProTrain, I was the director at North Carolina State University, specifically in continuing ed in the computer training area. I love my job so much, I quit it to start <laughs> ProTrain. And that is a true statement. And I'm very proud to say that we are a North Carolina licensed proprietary school. And in 2021, we became a nationally accredited school through middle states. And I'm all about education to employment. And I'll go ahead and answer the question that probably a lot of you are thinking. Well, if you're already a school, why are you part want to partner with us? The reason is because ProTrain is multifaceted, and I want to prove to each and every one of you potential partners that you know that I take education just as seriously as you do, and I have to be audited. I have to have all my instructors vetted just like you do, because I do not want to provide any of you all a product that's not top notch. So with that, I will turn it over to my chief operating officer, Kevin Smith. Thanks, Betty. I've been Betty's chief operating officer now for a little bit under 13 years. Prior to that, uh, about a year and a half with Northrop Grumman and their training and simulation division. And for the 30 years before that, I played Army logistician. I'm a retired Army colonel, combat veteran out of Iraq. Uh, most of my duties in my senior uh, leadership positions were logistics and training. I was responsible for all the logistics training development in the Army. And uh, I really know what it takes to get the right credentials to people, to get them smart about doing their jobs. And I just transferred that knowledge to coming to work for ProTrain and what we do in our education to employment mantra every day uh, so that people get the right things that they need to be able to be job ready on day one when they get ready to transition. I'm going to turn things over at this point to our lovely host, Ms. Sharon. Thanks so much. Um, I'm with Aceware Systems, as I mentioned earlier, and I've been with them for 10 years now. And prior to coming to Aceware, I served in continuing education in a variety of roles, um, coordinator and then administrator, and then ended my tenure there as the director. I've been in the trenches with you. I know what it's like to do what you do. I know what it's like to do everything with very limited resources and staff. And so um, we are pleased to help you as a registration system and pleased to work with ProTrain to offer you some solutions as well. Back to you. And, 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 and Sharon, I will say, uh, let me get my face here good. Um, I will say it means the world to me for all of us to have uh, been in the same industry and to understand what it's like to serve people. We know the business, but a lot of people that we serve, they're trying to figure out what the next step in their life is. And we take it very seriously to try to help them. And, and that means the world to me. And so this slide that we have here is just a sample of the experts that we have here at ProTrain. We have about 17, 18 people. And in some form or fashion, we've all been involved in the education. And we want to be an extension arm of everybody that we support on behalf of Aceware. And you can see we have uh, a registrar, marketing, information services, training, business, sales, myself and Kevin. So if you choose to partner with ProTrain, you are partnering with an organization that's been in the same place that you have, that you are. And we know exactly what you're going through. Believe me, we really do. Next slide. A little bit, you know, I got a little bit of um, visuals here, a little bit of words. Again, I'm not going to read everything because we're all adults, but we were founded in 2004. Uh, very proud of that. 100% small business administration, small woman owned business. Um, and that's saying a lot because um, 
there's so many times when a school partner partners with an organization, they're partnering with a big organization. But when you're partnering with ProTrain, you're partnering with people that has been gr homegrown grassroots from the very beginning. And Chuck Havlicek, the original owner of Aceware, was a part of helping me do that. And that's why this webinar is so important to me. We're North Carolina licensed proprietary. We're middle states accredited. We do go out of our way to provide a turnkey solution to be able to be an extension arm of who you all are in your department. Because I've been one of you uh, having very few employees, but being expected to be bigger and better and on a next to nothing shoestring budget. And that's why ProTrain was born, was to be able to help you all accomplish your goals. And that means the world to me. And we're going to talk about the different formats of learning that we provide. I will tell you there's only two times that we've ever applied for, for the Better Business Bureau Torch Awards for Marketplace Ethics in 16 and 21. And we won both times because it means the world to me and all of my staff uh, to be able to say to you that we want to do the right thing by you, for you, and for your students. We do provide WIOA training in around 40 states, you know, give or take, uh, for the unemployed and underemployed. We work with you on multiple state funding grants. Uh, ProTrain itself is approved in multiple states. Uh, I'm just noting North Carolina with 35 programs and growing. And as we all know, with WIOA and the ch ever-changing rules in the government, you have to track your student. Did they get a job? If so, where? How much are they making, et cetera? So we have to, we have to follow those guidelines and we try to work with all of our partners to do that. We are a military spouse employment partner. What does that mean? We go out of our way to hire military spouses and we had to go through uh, rigors uh, to apply to be able to do that. We have been participating and supporting our school partners since 2007 when the military, uh, uh, military career advancement account started in 2007. So we were there from day one. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about Army and Air Force credentialing assistance program. And I guess the purpose of this slide is to let you know the people that you're talking to right now, we take morals and ethics really seriously and we're accredited and we will never do anything to hurt our reputation or yours. Next slide. What do we provide? education to employment, stackable skills. We match programs that we have to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. A lot of times companies call their people account execs, salespeople. On purpose, I chose the word training assessment manager. We're all in the business of training, assessing the needs of our school partners like you, assessing the needs of our leads and managing those accounts and documenting what goes on with all of us because the written word is forever. So that's why the term TAM was invented because if you document it and you you keep keep all your documents uh straight, you'll never you'll you'll ne you'll never go wrong. We do progress reports on all of our students. We provide them to you on a monthly basis or more often, if you so desire, on the students, to the WIOA counselors, or whoever we're supposed to, because we all know we're living in a competitive edge. I mean, it's, it's not getting any easier. We just have to all work together to make it real, honest, and help people have a better future for their career advancement opportunities and the values that we can provide by teaching our students for employers and their organizations 
and 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 it's it's it really is it's building those relationships all the way from working with ProTrain to working with Aceware to working with you to score school partner for you working with your organizations that you're serving and the students and building that trust it, it, it that's very meaningful and i will let you know that there's no hidden fees with working with pro train there's no fine print all the course materials and supplies to complete the class is included and i will tell you there are some partners that we work with if it's appropriate that if a student needs a laptop, we can include that with the program. But we all realize there's different rules, different entities, but we can do that and provide that and send that uh, directly to you, the school partner, for the student to be able to pick that up or however we can arrange that. But we're probably one of the most flexible organizations you'll ever work with. Next slide, please. This is a really simple slide. It's just showing you some of our partners, East Coast, West Coast, middle of the United States, nonprofits, for profits, medical systems, things of that nature. So whoever you are uh, on our webinar today, if you've got a medical system and you want ProTrain to help you, we've got Ascension, Monument Health, uh, uh, Centera, things of that nature. We can help you if you want to be able to assist your medical organizations, grant opportunities, things of that nature. Next slide, please. Simple slide, we have over 500 programs, education to employment, that's what we're about. And I, I will assure you that every single year, we do a quality assurance matrix on our programs to make sure that we've got the right version, uh, the the latest and the greatest. I mean, nobody on this call could say, you know, on any given day, but on a yearly basis, we make sure that we are always up to date on the latest and greatest version in the different topical areas that you can see here. Everything ranging from accounting to um, IT, multimedia, soft skills, Spanish in the workplace is one of our most popular nationwide series. Um, so you can see that we have a lot, a lot of programs for you to review. And we do realize that you will only pick and choose what you want because working at a university myself, sometimes people above you may say, you can't offer this because the academic side offers it. Um, but then on the other flip side is if I don't offer them all, I won't know if somebody wants to buy them if I don't offer them. So we can always work together to figure out what's best for you and your situation. Next slide, please. I can't tell you how many times I personally talk with students and they're like, how do I begin? Because we live in our bubble and we know what we do. A student, that, a potential student that wants to change their life, they don't know all the right questions. They don't know all the answers. So we make sure that they, we work with our students one-on-one -on -one as individuals, not a robot. I mean, yes, we do use chat, but we, I, I am a big person on having a literal conversation with a student. Can I make sure you have a 10th grade reading level? Is your internet fast fast speed? Because if you don't have fast speed internet, then you may blame the school. You may blame the content provider when you are the one that may not have high speed internet and we try to set all those expectations up up front so everybody knows what's going on. Are you a good candidate to take an online class? We actually have a, a, a test for that because I do not, I, I have actually turned people down and say, and have told them you're not ready for this class or you're not ready for an online class. And that makes us all better at the end of the day. 
digital literacy. Um, how good are you on the computer? But the most important thing is I need to find out when I talk to a student, do, does that student have a desire to learn or are they just looking for someone to give them something for free? I want to make sure that I want to talk to a student that has a passion and a desire to change their life, not just their life, but as the quote that I have here, that is my quote, and I'm not going to read it to you. I'm going to paraphrase it. The education is the key to our future. It doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter how rich or how poor you are. But if you give yourself the gift of education, you can make a difference in anything you want to do in life. But the better gift that you can give is if you have siblings, relatives, friends, and they see that you took that one class and it made a difference, then you might have made a difference for them. That is the message that I try to send to all of our partners and all of our students because we're trying to provide what real world employers want to hire for real people. And we have to have that passion. A better future starts with an education. And I truly believe that. Next slide. So we got a little trends and issues going on. We all know that even before COVID, people were looking to online because you don't want to have to pay for dry cleaning. You don't want to have to pay for gas. You don't want to have to pay for daycare. So online, and we'll talk about the different um, different examples of online here in the next slide or two, but a lot of people are really like to have that because uh, your school, maybe in Texas, your school, maybe in North Carolina, your school might be in Missouri. But what I want as a student might be what you have, but I physically can't get there. But through a different online modality, I, I, as the school, can serve students nationwide and worldwide. And that's exactly what ProTrain's mission and vision is, is to serve people wherever you're at in a modality that you wish. We're trying to support the United States economy. Uh, we owe a, uh, we owe a, uh, excuse me, COVID really change the world and i will say this and i I'm, i actually am really proud of saying this pro train was cool before covid existed because we've been online for 19 years so uh it really didn't affect us a whole lot except for just wanting to care about our our employees um we work with workforce development offices pro train is a um working with your continuing ed department. We're a revenue generator for your college or university. And I like to, as much as I can, try to get the academic side and the CE side to work together because CE is a feeder system for the academic side. And I'll just give you a really simple example. If we offer pharmacy tech, and if your school has pharmacists, then our pharmacy techs that we on the CE side train, and then they go to CVS or Walgreens or wherever, then they may want to come back to the academic side and become a pharmacist. So we need to learn how to build those relationships with all of us. Next slide. Um, we were talking about different learning formats. We have self-paced online. Leave me alone. I'll let you know if I've got a, got a question. We have self-paced with a live mentor. Leave me alone and I'll join your scheduled live mentor session where I can accumulate my questions and I'll get answers from you. So self-paced, self-paced with an online mentor. 
we've been doing in classroom for multiple years and I'll, I will be the first to tell you, you know, what's COVID hit. We were doing in classroom nationwide, but once COVID hit, it's, you know, it's been sparse, I'll put it that way, but we are totally prepared to provide in classroom, providing all materials, everything. The only thing that the school has to provide is a projector, a whiteboard, and a classroom. And I've been doing this since 1995 or before. But also the one thing that we were doing before COVID that has been exceptionally well is the live online synchronous instructor-led. Live online synchronous is exactly the way in classroom is, except we're just not in the same classroom. But through Zoom, I can see you, you can see me, I take attendance, uh, we grade homework, et cetera. So it's been very good and it's been very convenient. And uh, one of the most convenient things is because we create a national schedule. And so let's just pretend we got five schools and each school has two students. Guess what happens? we do not have a history of classes canceling because we have enough students to make the class happen. And uh, every school gets their revenue share. The, the school gets their revenue. ProTrain gets their revenue. The instructor gets their paycheck. The most important thing though is every single student that we serve on behalf of each other gets their training to change their future. That's the biggest benefit for me. And that's why we've ch chosen to do the live online synchronous and have a national schedule so we all are winners. Next slide, please. And you all have heard me talk too much right now. I'm going to turn it over to Kevin. But before I turn it over to Kevin, I would like to see if there are any questions or comments in the Q&A in chat. And if there's not, that's okay. We're just having, just like we're at Starbucks, we're just talking with each other. Well, I'm not seeing any right now, Betty, but they know. Go ahead and type those in at any time. Okay. And and and, and, and I, I, I thank you. I'm going to go on mute. And to you, Mr. Smith. Thanks, Betty. As Betty was saying, credentials in a very competitive cutthroat job market are really important. We gained a, a real understanding of this going back about five years ago. Um, there is a institution called collegescorecard.ed.gov. They're kind of like the consumer's digest of who's doing what to who in the college university world. So if you have a son or daughter and they're trying to figure out, do I want to go to school A, B, or C, they will tell you all the different metrics and let you measure up and do a good comparison where that money should go. They also did a study about five years ago for the Department of Education that quite frankly broke the glass ceiling of higher ed. That ceiling was one that says, if you don't have a college education, you can't get a good job. Well, this is what the study showed them. 17% of any student that starts a two-year associate's degrees ever finish. That's right, you heard me, 17% finish. 50% finish a four-year degree program. But guess what? They don't finish in four years. They finish in 5.3 years trying to figure out what they're about, what's going on. They're not underneath mom and dad. They got sororities, fraternities, you name it. They're not focused until all of a sudden mom and dad says, hey, what are all these Ds and withdrawals on your report card? ruck it up and let's get going. Of the 50% that finally finish after 5.3 years, guess what? Only 50% of them ever get a job in what they studied. Yet they walk away with an average college debt over their head of $38,000 of federal debt. The crazy thing about all this, my friends, is that 65% of the jobs open in America today don't require any degree whatsoever. But you better come to a prospective employer with the right credential that says that you've taken a course, you've mastered that skill set, you've passed an industry-recognized exam that tells it 
the employer what? That you're ready on day one to come to work and be a productive member of their team. That's why it's important to have credential programs you offer your students. It also gives a huge heightened career advancement opportunity for people that have jobs and want to do better in their careers when you offer things that are sequentially and progressive in their in their manner. That becomes an increased value to the employers and their organizations overall. And I hope you agree after seeing this chart why credentials are so important to the students that you want to serve. Our expertise can help solve what we know are a lot of your challenges. As Betty showed you, the majority of us have been around the CE world for quite some time. We know, for example, you must be able to support more than one funding source or you're gonna turn the lights off. You've gotta be able to support workforce investment funds, grants, if you're around an endearing military installation, things like, like the MyCAA program with DOD funding, Army credentialing assistance if you're on an Army base, okay? Air Force cool if you're on an air base, okay? And something as simple as a self-pay program with zero interest payment plans. And I'll get into that a little bit different. But the important thing is there are buckets of money and no one bucket of money will carry your load on any one day to keep all your lights turned on and pay all your people. You have to have multiple funding sources. You also have to know how to brand what you're offering to the public. You could have the greatest stuff known to man in terms of content, but if nobody knows what's going on in your service area because you haven't marketed it well, it's just the best thing no one ever found out about. So we're willing to work with institutions, particularly multiple campus institutions, because we do that all the time, okay? And because we're pro-trained with, with great partners like ACE, where we know the challenges that you have every day and how we can be a true extension arm of your staff. It also goes without saying is that there's a wide range of the types of participants that want your courses to include high school students. We also have a lot of expertise in supporting this age group as well as at-risk youth programs. We've actually given programs at juvenile delinquent centers before and they've had great reviews and, and, and great usage. 25% of every state's workforce investment funds are congressionally earmarked for at-risk youth candidates. 25% of that funds. Yet most schools don't even try to chase that funding, but that's a bucket and it's right there in your backyard. Connecting participants with the right type of grants is important, as well as assessing the candidates for those grants. So we can help offer you learner assessments that will increase the ROI. There's nothing more discouraging than to try to throw a bunch of students at a bunch of grant money and hope that they'll be okay with that when nobody screens them properly. We can help you do that as well as provide you monthly progress reports on every single student that we enroll on your behalf. We know that regardless who sits in the White House, who controls the House, who controls the Senate, whether your governor is Democrat, Republican, or independent, these major areas, healthcare, technology, clean energy, skills trade, and creative industries are what your economy needs to have more people out of an unemployment line and into a payroll line and things that help your state's economy recover. You do that by offering the right type of high demand stackable skill set credential programs and you offer what's hot. So certifications, as I said before, those are what's happening. More and more students today don't want a five or six digit loan over their head when they get done with school. They want a job, they want to get out from underneath mom and dad, and they want to become self-sustaining. Credential programs and the right types of job career fields will get them there. This is just a quick show of the type healthcare programs that are very popular every place we serve students across our country. Technology and computer stackway, stackable career pathways are very important. We have a very steep partnership with CompTIA. The vice president of North America for CompTIA sits on progr our program advisory board. As a middle states accredited school, we have to have that. And we enjoy CompTIA's learning materials, their live virtual practice labs, and their test bank of exam questions and keep those current 
because of our great partnership with CompTIA. Business and leadership as well as trade. Trades are important, everything from bookkeeping administration to Lead Six Sigma Greenbelt. All three levels of human resourcing certifications for HCRI are available through our programs, as well as project management and certified associate project management. We have the best two instructors in the nation with the highest pass rates of anywhere in the nation for our certified production technician course. And we hope that if it, manufacturing is something that's growing or needed in your service area, you'll consider using that course because we have the best results of anybody in the industry. Green energy is again on everybody's front screen. We have great programs that support those, those types of funding and, and grant programs around the, the nation. Creative careers and hospitality, everything from administrative office to probably the best certified wedding planner course in the nation. Daycare administrator for people that like to do daycare is very popular, okay? As well as things, start your own business, okay? If you're in a place where tourism and travel thrive, we've got the right types of courses there as well. I'm going to pause now because I want to let one of our great partners at University of Texas, El Paso, Sam, give you some, some thoughts from his perspective as a partner with both ProTrain and Aceware. Sam, please. Good afternoon, everyone. And I'm thrilled to be here. I'm also thrilled to share some exciting updates uh, and success stories stemming from our collaboration with ProTrain Training Partner. Our partnership has been truly transformative, and I'm eager to highlight a few key points that showcase the remarkable impact that we have experienced at uh, professional public programs. Our collaboration with ProTrain has resulted in an impressive 40% increase in collaboration and substantial boost in revenue. This is a testament to the effectiveness of ProTrain's programs and their uh, registration staff. And it's also worth noting that ProTrain programs have consistently received prestigious industry awards, underlying the excellence and industry recognition. Partnership manpower's savings. Our staff has reported a significant reduction in administrative workload, thanks to the streamlined process implemented by ProTrain. The ProTrain portal has empowered our staff to access grades, attendance, and progress reports efficiently, allowing them to plan their day more effectively. This in turn has led to more meaningful engagement with potential customers instead of spending time with the system. The registration visit from Aceware has been a godsend for me. The registration visit enables effortless mass import of student information into Aceware student manager as compared to other similar systems in the market. Finally, the integration between Aceware student manager and ProTrain has significantly reduced data entry errors and saved time previously spent on manual work. These achievements wouldn't be possible without the collaborative efforts of our teams and the exceptional support provided by ProTrain and Aceware. As we continue this journey, I and professional public programs look forward to more success and opportunities for growth. With that, Kevin. Sam, thank you so much for those for those great remarks. Friends, as Betty said up front, we want to be a partner that becomes a true extension arm of your staff. And the partnership and the synergy that you just heard that grows out of a partnership between A-Square and ProTrain is invaluable. We know that most continuing education departments have about 2.5 people. I get it, I understand it. You need all the help you can get. We are there with our partner A-Square to give you the types of help you need to be able to stretch your manpower farther than you ever thought possible. We do that through a turnkey solution approach. We start by making sure that the programs that we offer you really do align with what 
the Department of Labor says these are high demand career areas in your service area. We have the ability to do SIP and SOC code analysis, and we can do that with you and have done it for countless partners in the past, and we can do it for you at any time. We also provide very affordable student pricing, and I'll get into some, some other uh, tidbits on that in just a second. We offer a lot of unique courses and other programs that no other vendor offers, okay? But once again, it's about education to employment. We understand that there's a lot of different grants that are out there that are funding. We have supported CARES Act grants for students, the Higher Education Emergency Relief Fund for various partners, okay? And we currently have about four partners right now on four different grants, either federal or state focused uh, for both schools and nonprofit organizations. So we know how this grant funding works. We know that this is limited time, but you have to do the right things. You have to show a good ROI because if you don't show the return on investment for that grant, the odds of getting another grant from that same source is not going to be there the next time it comes around. We understand how to make that a win-win for everybody. We do that by having the right blend of in-classroom, live online, and online training to help serve more students across the United States. And in general, we give you and your students a better learning experience. We do that because like you, pro train is accredited. We hold ourselves to the same high standard you do for student success every day. One of the things that helps is that we own or control 95% of all of our online content. We do that with very professional instructional system designers. As Betty said before, we use the quality matters matrix in assessing our content, and we use it when we go back and review our content on a regular basis. When you partner with ProTrain, you will also have the option of getting a website built for you. This is an example of one that we give our partner, Austin P. State University out of Clarksville, Tennessee. It has a rotating banner on it that can display anything that you want. Down the right-hand side, all your current social media in Facebook and Twitter are playing live down the side of that. So it looks like your own website, okay? You can put information programs and, and videos to help spotlight what's going on in your school and the programs you want to highlight. And then you select what types of courses you want in your catalog between online, in classroom and, and live online. If you are a institution that's near an enduring military installation and want to sponsor the MyCAA program, we add that MyCAA button in the bottom right-hand corner. And when you click on that, you get access to 37 programs that are already high demand, high skill set certification programs that the MyCAA program has approved for us and over 35 partners just like UTEP to provide their, their spouses in their, in their area. As we said before, if you don't know how to market what you offer, it's just the best thing nobody ever know about. So being able to give you a search engine optimized and web optimized uh, capability is important. We can provide you tons of marketing material, both that can immediately be dropped into digital, print, or social media space. We do this by storing all that on the back side of the website that we give you at no cost. This can help you in production of print ads and videos on request. We've got tons of canned content that you can use. We'll help you perform free webinar series. We've done that in the past. Matter of fact, we did a great webinar with Sam and his team and talked about the Army Credentialing Assistance Program and the MyCAA program earlier this year. We publish a monthly newsletter that'll tell all of our partners what the course trends and marketing trends are out there. When we offer new courses, that's where we tell you when we're going to take a course down because it's it's no longer viable or it's no longer relevant because there's been an upgrade to the course. We let you know via the newsletter as well. If you need blogs that can also help market more things to your students, we can help write blogs. When you get a copy of these briefings, the customizable school marketing resources and the MyCA marketing resources can be actioned by clicking on those links. We talked about the My Career Advancement Account, or MyCA, for military spouses. This is a phenomenal DOD-funded scholarship program for spouses of active duty soldiers, that's Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marines in the ranks of E-1 through E-6 enlisted ranks, W-1, W-2 for warrant officers, and O-1 through O-3. 
Recently, the DOD expanded this, adding staff sergeants, the E6s, and captains, O3, because that's right about the time they're thinking about getting out. They're coming up on the 10-year mark, and they really understand that military spouses need training. Why? Because 23% of military spouses are unemployed today. The national average is 3.5% versus 23% for military spouses. The reason for that is that during the pandemic, approximately 48% of every military spouse had to quit their job and become the at-home parent helping homeschool the, the kids. There was no choice. They had to drop their jobs. Well, the MyCAA program and the Military Spouse Employment Program, two that we are vested in highly, help spouses get back up on their feet with high demand skills. So no matter where their next PCS order takes them, it doesn't matter because the types of popular programs you see down the right-hand side there will get jobs anywhere that military family goes next. Or when they transition out of the service, they'll still have a leg up on everybody else because they've got the right things on their resume when it's time to get the, get the job market. We are very privileged to support the Army Credentialing Assistance Program and Air Force Cool. We're the ones that talk the Army into letting soldiers decide how they use that $4,000 tuition assistance every year. It applies to both all components for the Army, active, reserve component, and Army National Guard. They can use that $4,000 a year to get the right types of credentials, licenses, and certifications that either help them beyond their military occupational specialty or get them ready to transition when they get out of the service. So they got the right things on their resume so that they're considered job ready on day one when they make their transition from green suit to something else. We do the same thing for the Air Force Cool Program for their lower enlisted. That has a maximum of $4,500 one-time use that airmen can enjoy the same types of programs that the, their army counterparts do every day. We talked about financing options. It goes without saying that almost every lead that comes in to us says, can you tell us about this course and how can I get financial assistance to help pay for that? We understand they don't want any more debt over their head. They don't want any more interest incurred payment plans over their head. So to counter that, we have payment plans for our in-classroom and live online courses Okay, as well as our self-paced online courses that comes in with a percentage down and then three to five months worth of additional payments. No interest at all on these payments. And I can tell you, even when they can't afford the down payment, we have what's called the Invest in Your Future plan, which is kind of like the old layaway plan. When they have all their money put together enough to make that down payment, then we will enroll them in the course. You're probably thinking, well, what happens if Johnny stops paying for his course? What do you do? I can tell you, quite frankly, we probably had less than one half of 1% ever default in their payment plans. When they do default, we stop their learning right then and there. And if we've collected, say, 50% of what we should, then we give the school 50% of what they were supposed to get in their revenue share to be fair with everybody. But I will tell you, the majority of our schools that have increased their revenue in the last two years all have went with no interest payment plans to help expand the number of people they're serving. This is really needed in an economy where a lot of people, quite frankly, are credit card poor. I'm going to change my voice and face, and I'm going to turn it back to Miss Betty, who's going to finish out. Miss Betty. I thank you, Kevin. And before I start, I'll pause for the calls to see if anybody has uh, any Q&A or chat. And if you don't, I'm just going to pause for just a few seconds if anybody has a question. Looks like they're all good. Okay, it, 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 uh, it does. But Kevin and I are such talkers, I have to remind myself all the time to pause for the calls. Um, but just like you all do, we go through a student life cycle. We do the same thing with you as our partner from the very first lead, the very first contact. 
It doesn't matter if it was at a conference. It doesn't matter if it was an email or a text. It just doesn't matter. We have to understand where that student is coming from. And are they, uh, do they meet the prerequisites to take the class? And if they don't, then we need to let them know why and what we can get them to be, because that's all a part, a part of the assessment of assessing the student and what's going to make them successful. And after we do that, then obviously, like Kevin was talking about, how are you going to pay for it? Is it going to be WIELA? Is it going to be military spouse? Is it going to be Army? Is it going to be Air Force? You paying for it out, out of your pocket? Who's paying for it? Because unless you and and it could be grant as well and we understand that but we have to come to that decision as to how to serve the student and once we once we uh, go through that journey then we enroll the student we give them a welcome letter user id password contact information because we don't want any student to not feel that they don't have um a human being in uh, whether it be email, phone, uh, a, a person that they can reach out to in case they have a problem, and our student services providing the progress reports, helping with exams, etc., and then to completion. And completion at ProTrain is you must complete every single module, whether it's in classroom, online, it doesn't matter, 70% or better on every single module um and then if if you paid for it out of your own pocket or if somebody else paid for it if the exam is included then our director of it that's on our call right now john hopkins he works with that student to help them figure out the best method for them to take the exam so as i had said earlier we have training assessment managers. You can call them counselors, whatever you want to call them. Uh, our, our content is uh, WCAG, uh, I'm going to say the official thing, 2.1 AA compliant. It just means that our stuff is ADA compliant. We do the progress reports. We provide the exam assistance. We track every single student every single email as well as every single email that we would have with you as a partner because it helps both of us because remember at the beginning of this call i said the written word is forever when you got the written word you can't deny it so all communications are filed in our crm sales force and i would hope and respect that you would find that comforting because none of us can remember everything, but if we document it, then if we have to go back and look for whatever reason, we can find it. Next slide, please. What is our partner support about? Well, it truly is about partner development and what, are, what we're talking about today. Do you wanna be our partner or not? That's your choice. I can tell you, we will go out of our way to be the best partner that you probably will ever experience. And if we're not, then you can tell us how we can do better. We have a training department that creates um, uh, the in-classroom, the online synchronous classes. We have our training assessment managers that talk to the students as human beings, not a bot we don't we don't bot at all we talk to people and our student services department that takes care of our students registrar director of it um running the progress reports and supporting your school because a part of a relationship is for us to get to know each other wouldn't you agree don't you need to know who I am as a person? And don't you think I need to know who you are so I can make you successful and I can support you? 
and I do mean that, and I, I hope that means something to most of you. Next slide. So what's the process? Well, we've already started step one. We're discussing a partnership. You either want to or you don't. And if you do, we'll send you a Microsoft Word document that you can use track changes. And please, please hear me. If you want a document, use track changes because we have had a lot of schools that they send it back to us in a PDF. And I have to read every single word to see what was changed. If you just use track changes, it's a whole lot better. And once we decide and we sign the memorandum of understanding, then we have a strategy meeting. What do you want? What programs do you want? How can I help you? What markets do you want? Do you want manufacturing? Do you want medical? What do you want that I can help you with? And then we decide what kind of website you want. Do you want an e-commerce website? Do you want a marketing website? Do you want to add what we have uh, just in Aceware? It's whatever you want, because we're the, probably about the most flexible company you'll ever see. And then we develop marketing materials for you, because one of the things that I know personally from working at my previous university is it's very hard to get marketing materials created and we do that for you the most important thing is to enroll new students and then get constant feedback you providing me feedback on what did you do good what would i like you to do better and if we're all honest with each other i'll give you the same feedback what did you do good as my partner? And what could you do better as my partner? Because I'm all about transparency. And if we are always honest and have constant feedback with each other, you know what? We will we'll make it happen. Next slide. These are just a few slides here. Um, uh, every single year, um, like in December, we track the most popular programs. It doesn't matter who paid for it. Don't doesn't care if it's the government paid out of your pocket, whatever. So most popular programs. Next slide. Most popular self play, uh, pay programs. And I hope you all are starting to see. It doesn't matter who's paying for it. It's always the most popular programs. It might be in a different order, but these are the programs you all need to be offering because this is a nationwide survey of what people are buying. Next slide. WIOA, unemployed, underemployed, same thing. Next slide. Military spouse programs. Military spouse uh, like to take programs that are portable, in demand, so no matter where they PCS move to in the world, that they can maintain a job. And a lot of military spouses like to have work from home jobs. And we have a whole series on that as well. So I wanted to say that a little bit about that. Next slide, please. And we've been tracking the most popular Air Force and Army programs as well. Um, and I realize we're going to provide you a copy of this slide deck and recording. But all those programs, they're the same thing. It, it, it's just what people want to do to be able to make a living and take care of their family and themselves. Um, I want to respectfully, sincerely, Thanks, Sharon, for allowing us to provide this presentation to you. And I want to thank Kevin, my chief operating officer, for his contribution. And the most important thing that I want you all to take away is that we're just like you. All we want to do is help people. That's it. I have, no, I have nothing more to say than that. Sharon, I will turn it over to you. 
thank you both so much. Um, again, I kept thinking throughout this, this partnership, we are all passionate about helping students. We are all flexible and passionate about helping you grow your programs. And so it's, it's a very beneficial partnership. And as Betty said, this recording is going to be on acewear.com, but I will also get that to our guests that are with us today. Um, you can return on demand and share with your teams as needed. But thank you all for spending their t valuable time with us. We know how busy you are. So taking time out of your day to join us, it, it means a lot to us. And with that, unless you, anything else needs to be said, we will wish you a very good evening and a happy weekend to follow. Many of you are probably shaking your heads like, yeah, you know, weekend, what is that? But we get it. We get it. And we're glad you spent some time with us today. Anything else, Kevin, Betty, before we let these wonderful folks head out? Just, just happy to serve and happy. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy that UTEP is happy with ProTrain. So. Yep. yep. No, 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 no the, 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 the only thing I want to say is thank you, Sharon. I, I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that we uh, have some new partners that we can have some good times with. All right. That's a great note to end on. Have a good evening, everyone. Take good Thank care. Bye-bye now.